الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله from those ahadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would show us the ease of Islam, in fact, how Islam is easy and how the path to Jannah, although is full of challenges and can be difficult, but that we should make Islam or we should realize and portray Islam in its general fashion, which is with ease. Allah did not make it impossible for us to get to Jannah and to come closer to him subhanahu wa ta'ala and from those hadith it was narrated on the authority of Abu Ayyub <clears throat> that a man came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said direct me to a deed which draws me near to paradise and takes me away from the hellfire upon this the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said you worship Allah and never associate anything with Him. Establish prayer and pay zakat and do good to your kin. When He returned His, his back, or when He returned back, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam remarked, if He, or when He turned away, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam remarked, if He adheres to what He has been ordered to do, He would enter paradise. So that shows us that the mu'min, or that the believer, in general, if they just practice the usul of Islam, the arkan al-Islam, the arkan al-Iman, that they will enter paradise. And that Islam does not require for us, for the average Muslim to get in all detailed, intricate matters, but rather to learn the usul, usul al-Din and practice. And so it shows us the importance of portraying that in da'wah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was dealing with people who are very simple people uh, often. Often dealing with Bedouins and others who did not necessarily, uh, were not necessarily learned people. And those people from amongst those Bedouin tribes needed the simplicity of Islam. As he asked, you know, what will make me go to paradise? And there are many situations in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked uh, these types of questions. You know, what, what is that which would help me get to the fire? What would be the thing that brings me closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala? For example, in the hadith with the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Su'ila Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, An Akthari Ma Yudkhal Al Nas Al Jannah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked, what is that, what is the thing that will bring me into paradise uh, the easiest or the most if I do it? He's, Su'ila Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, An Akthari Ma Yudkhal Al Nas Al Jannah, He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in the very general sense, fear Allah and Husn Al meaning that you avoid the, the prohibitions of Allah, do His commandments, and that you have righteous manners. So that shows us again the simplicity of Islam and how the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala majma'een from their fiqh, from their fiqh and their understanding that they would ask about the most important matters. Whereas we find in our time and generations after the Sahaba where the people wanted to make things very difficult and ask very detailed matters which maybe they're not even required to know or go into depth about. But the Sahaba from their fiqh, they asked about those things which would bring them closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And likewise in that hadith, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that which would take the person to the hellfire. Which, what are those things which take people to the fire the most? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-Fim wal-Faraj. He salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi said, the tongue and the private parts, meaning that most of the sins, they come from those two ways, such as the 
from the tongue, we see that many people, they backbite, they speak ill of people, they curse people, they become angry and quickly use their tongue, they lie, they even commit bid'ah on the tongue. And all of these are actions of the tongue. These are ways that the tongue can be a means to getting you to the hellfire. And the second thing the Prophet ﷺ uh, said was that the faraj, the private parts, and that is the other means how the shaitan will, will trap you and trick you is through your shahwat, through committing zina, adultery. Um, for some people who are tested with that sin of homosexuality and some people who are tested with masturbation in other forms and all of that comes from the shahwat and from the private parts so that's why we see the prophet he was asked about that which would bring the people uh into the the fire the easiest and he said the fem the mouth and the faraj and we ask Allah the almighty to make us of the muttaqeen and bless us with ilm al-nafi ruskin tayyib wa'amal al-muttaqabil and forgive us of our many sins and practice protect us from the sins of shahwat wa shubahat wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam